engaged. My name's Mr. Homeless, and I'm here answering the question all of you have been asking. Will a Wii Remote work after it's been deep fried? And if not, what does it take to get a Wii Remote to work after it's been deep fried? Hello everyone, and welcome to my most requested video ever. Thousands and thousands of requests over and over, guaranteed. Mr. Homeless, will a Wii Remote work if it's deep fried? So I have my Wii Remote here. We've got our batter, we've got our hot oil, and we got our protection. Face shield and all. You make sure you got proper protection. What we're gonna do, now is a control test. We are going to take our Wii remote that has zero modifications and put it inside of our batter and then we are going to deep fry it. We will be able to monitor the connectivity of the Wii remote with our... What you really want is for your Wii remote to get a nice golden brown for a perfect amount of crisp, perfect amount of crisp. As you can see here, we have connectivity and we also have a uh, dongle monitored on screen. Our Wii remote is connected to Windows via Bluetooth and we will be testing on Minecraft. But don't let this distract you, I will make a how-to video on it later. Well, first things first, is give your batter a little lick. Mmm, yes, yes, mm, yes. Once you have all of these things in front of you, which you do not, because you're not doing this at home. You just really want to get to town with the Wii Remote in the batter. Just drop it right in there, like so. And then directly into the flour, just like that, just like you would do deep frying anywhere else. And then one more time, back into the batter. As you can see, we still have connectivity there. Right there, you can see we still have connectivity. Once you've got all this done, you need to roll in lowering contraption directly over the hot oil. Let's give that another little dip there. Just, give it another little. Yeah, just like that. Starting to sizzle. Lowering. We remote deep frying engaged. Stepping back for protected protection. I awoke in a cold sweat, and moments later, woke my wife. I spoke aloud to her. I must deep fry a Wii remote. It must be true love, because she made the batter. Thank you for making my Wii remote batter. <laughs> if you, too, have the courage to deep fry your Wii remote, don't. It's still connected, baby! Get on camera here. I mean it's connected. Look, you can see the light. It's connected. Oh. Expecting. It's one small step for gamers, one giant leap for gamer kind. Uh, really, I think we have to do it upside down as well. Oh, now that's a nice, crispy golden brown. It's dripping a little hot oil, which is never a good sign. But we're going to test it as is and see what goes down. All right, we are connected. It looks like it's not sensing anything immediately. Press buttons. No response. Try and clean off the sensor. Very crispy. Oh, I crunched the bottom. It hits. <laughs> but why can't we aim? Aw, oh, jeez, dude, I don't know, bits me. For our control test, we were able to have one button working with the deep fried Wii remote. It kind of works. No aim functionality at all whatsoever. We are now going to move on to step two, which is modifying a Wii remote to see if it will function properly after it has been deep fried. We paired another Wii remote and started test number two. Wii remote number two connecting now, which was carefully sealing the Wii remote with silicone. This should slow the entry of the oil into the Wii remote. I learned this from my dad. If something's not working, you can seal it with silicone. It'll probably start working. We're gonna let that sit right there. Let the silicone harden a little. And luckily we have the first Wii remote to snack on. Very good. Very good Wii remote, if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that really was a good one there. Crazy upside down fry. Test number two. Lowering. Deep frying game. Yeah, that's deep frying there. That good one. Yeah, that's a good one there. Will the silicone protect our Wii remote? Find out in four seconds. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna immediately test and see if we get aiming. Okay, no functionality immediately with being able to aim. We can still do trigger press. Press A, through the crunch, hot. Oh, we got movement, oh, we're moving forward. Sideways, backwards. Oh, we got full deep fried Wii remote movement. 
dimensions never before seen. The plus and minus work, and the space works. We have full functioning other than aim. I will now wipe off the tip of our Wii remote. Oh, we had some movement. The sensor did something. It did it. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Oh, oh it moves ever so slightly to the right. Oh. Minecraft with a deep fried Wii remote. I'm aiming with a deep fried Wii remote. Oh! But something didn't feel quite right. The stakes were too low. The controller was too clunky. We needed a gamer moment. We needed ranked. One final test must be concluded to fine tune our creation. We all know about the insane power of Flex Seal, but can it fully protect our Wii Remote and make it fully functional once deep fried? I need it. Nay, we need it. Our Wii Remote to be boss battle ready. We don't want semi functional, we want fully functional. So get your Cheeto fingers off my Wii remote. Could Flex Seal be the very thing that fine tunes our creation? They kept asking over and over and over and over, but I could not reach the tartar sauce. Mm -hmm. And you would just think that hippos would be able to poop somewhat controllably. Here we have Flex Seal Deep Fried Wii Remote. You might be wondering, what is your phone on the table for, Mr. Hummus? Well, you see. I have Minecraft running on my phone. I will now engage Wii Remote Sensor Bar. Battery powered. We're a fancy out here. Feast your eyes upon me as I use the deep fried Flex Seal Wii Remote flawlessly to play Minecraft Hardcore Mode. I got it. We're going in. I loaded Minecraft Hardcore with my deep fried Wii Remote. Oh, buddy. Punch a cow. Punch a cow. Oh. I learned don't immediately punch the cow because then cows be mad. I'm just going to remove a small bit of battered. We're cruising. We're literally cruising. Gather things. Oh my goodness, it's working flaw. This is flawless working Wii Remote after it's been deep fried. Gaming myth confirmed. Now how long will we survive in Minecraft hardcore mode? Uh-huh. Am I making you nervous yet? We need to find wood. Wood is essential immediately. There's wood, everything I will need. Right the- No! My entire Minecraft life flashed before my eyes. All those hours spent mining for diamonds, just to die to a small cliff. And then I survived. Oh! We're fine. We can get out of this. We lived. It's been intense. We're fine. You just get in there to these buttons. This is gonna take me a really long time. Can I just- Oh, we're fine, dude. We're fine! We're just a tunnel dweller. We'll just live in the tunnels. What is this? Dude, we are quickly taking lots of damage. Oh, enemy! God! Get up! Get her out! No! Oh! Surely most of you watching have at one point held a Wii remote. And while they're nothing more than a few bits of plastic and old technology, Clearly, they are stronger than we expected. So strong, in fact, I'm beginning to wonder if it was ever connected at all. Please humbly accept my words when I tell you that a Wii Remote can, in fact, work once it's been deep fried. Myth confirmed. It's the man with the Wii Remote. Did you just hate it whenever you go to your friend's house and they give you the controller that's just deep fried? What the heck do I do with this thing now? What on earth am I ever going to use this for? And then because of that, the A button is stuck, and then they keep beating you at 007, and then they think that they're better than you, but they're not? It's just that it's deep fried? I think we're going to have to confirm this one. Uh, Jamie, uh, nobody? <laughs>